Hello and welcome everyone to my channel Code with Ease. Today in this video, we are going to discuss how to check if two strings are K anagrams or not. So we are given two strings in lower, lower case alphabets and a value K. So our task is to determine if these two strings are K anagrams to each other. Now what anagrams are? Anagrams are nothing but a given word can be an anagram to another word if the letters can be rearranged to form the another word. Like for example, if we have a word called fried and we have another word called fired. So fried, the letters of the word fried can be rearranged to form the word fired and vice versa. I'm going to link up a related video of valid anagrams up here, which you can check it out. Now coming back to this problem statement, we have to check if two strings are K anagrams to each other. Now what's the condition that has to be satisfied? Number one, they should have same number of characters. And second is, they can become so by changing at most k characters in a string. Like if you see this example here, f o d r and g o r k. Here, k is 2. 2 means we can change at most 2 characters, means maximum 2. We can change 1 character, we can change 0 character, but at most is 2. Uh, so the output is 1 means it is returning true. So the explanation is, here we can change f and d to g and k. If you notice, there are two letters that is common to each other, O and R. O and R occurs in both the strings, which is fine. The ones that are not common are F and D and G and K. So, if we substitute F and D with G and K or vice versa, we can get the other, other string back. So, that is the whole idea of this question. Given a K value and given, given a K value and with that value only, we have to determine if we can, uh, if we can make these two strings anagram of each other. Okay, um, I think we have to just, uh, yeah, we just have to return true if they are, otherwise we have to return false. So it's a Boolean thing. So with this, let's move to the whiteboard to understand how do we solve this question. So into the whiteboard, let's first uh, have these two strings, string S1. So we will have it like F O D R, And S2 was G O R K. So O and O was common and R and R is common and we have K equal to 2. What should be the approach for solving this? Approach. Number one, the edge case. If lengths are different, we have to return false. If lengths are not equal, return false okay. otherwise what we can use is we can use hashing we we'll use a hash map so in that what we will do like we have this string f o d r Okay, so into the map, we are going to store the key F and we are going to store the uh, occurrence of that. Like F has occurred one time, O has occurred one time, and D has again occurred one time, and R has occurred one time. Okay, so now what will happen? We have this string, now we have the other string which was G O R K. So once we have the hash map ready with the keys and the value, now we'll consider this second string and then we are going to do a check in the hash map if the given character of that S2, that another string, if it is already contained in the map or not. If it is not contained, we don't have to do anything. But if it is contained, like in case of O, we'll reduce the frequency. So if O is already 1 all, and we encounter another O, we have to decrement it by 1 and we'll make it 0. R is not there, uh, R is there, so we'll again uh, make it 0. K is not there, we don't have to do anything. So once we have done this, at last what we have to do is, we have to add up the values, whatever is remaining in here. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 is less than equal to K that we have, so we'll return true. Now let's try to understand a bit more uh, about the reasoning behind this approach. What happens is if we have anything common like O, o and R like we had O and R. 
So O and R, since they are common, they will cancel out each other. Whatever we are left with, the counts of those characters will be matching will be matching to the count of the other character which was not contained. So in this case, F and D. Here, F and D can be replaced by G and K. So the ones which is not contained in the map, that count is equal to this. And the ones which is already contained, we don't have to do anything. It will anyway cancel out each other. So we don't have to worry anything about the characters which are already there. I mean, uh, which are already there or you can say which are common to each, of, each other. We have to think that the ones that are not there, those, the count of those characters is that mapping to the count of the other two characters. Like here in this case, we have F and D and G and K is uh, another. Let's take another example. So let's say we will have another example, like we have another string called elbow. And let's say we have. E O W O F. These two. What happens? E is having ones, one occurrence. L is having one occurrence. B is also having one occurrence. O is having one occurrence. W is having one occurrence. This is called this. B. Is B there? Yes. B is there. Is O there? Yes. O is there. Is W there? Yes. W is there. Is O there? Is O there? It is there, but then the value is already zero. Now, with zero, we do, we don't have to decrement any further. Is L there? Yes, it is there. So in this case also, if our k was already two, we can see that now that we are left with now that we are left with one, okay, and one is less than or equal to two. So if we just change b o w. Uh, v O W and this O, if we replace it with E, we can get our anagram. V O W E L is equal to L O. Like these two are anagrams to each other. So what we understood this is the extra character for us. Okay. And if anything is zero, why we don't want to decrement? Because if they are already cancelling each other out, then we don't have to decrement each another. There must be something deficit or something redundant. So in this case, O was extra. So, O we can replace it with E. This E can pull it, pull in here. So, now with that, let's try to see uh, what should be the code for this. Okay, so let's start with the code changes now. So, the edge case, like we discussed, if the lengths are not equal, then we are going to return false straight away. So, if the lengths do not match S1 and S2, We are going to return false. Okay. Otherwise, we have to start traversal on the first string. So to do that, let me have a for loop. Let me also define a map here. The map is going to take the character. It's going to take a, take a frequency. So, now, uh, while we start traversing, we have to start uh, adding the characters as in what uh, whatever we encounter for every. So, we can do this in two ways. Either we can do a contains key check, or we, I can just directly put into this map and say map one dot put s1 dot care at of i okay and then i can say uh, map one dot get or default we use this method get or default so what it does is if there is no entry already contained then it is going to do a default entry otherwise if it is already existing then we have to implement the counter so we will say if uh, get or default takes into arguments one is the key itself on which it is going to do a get and second is the default value so this 
if s dot caret is not already contained, zero is going to be the default value. So it will say s dot caret, uh, s one dot caret, and the uh, value will be zero, like for the first occurrence. Okay. And then it's going to increment to one. So zero plus one. So whenever there's a first occurrence, it will say s one dot caret. And since nothing is pre-existing, it will say zero plus one. So our the first entry of the map will be the character and the frequency one. Second time when the same character is going to come because it already exists. So this get or default will return the actual key, uh, actual value that is contained, and it will keep on adding one to it. So it is going to increment the frequency. So this we can do it in one line. Otherwise, we can use a if condition. We can do a contains key check and if else and all that. So this is this part is just going to take care of adding to the map the character and the frequency. Second is for the second string. Now we have to do the traversal. Um, so we'll do another for each loop. So we'll say character a and let's do dot two cash away. In this, we have to check. If it is a match, then we have to decrement the counter. So here also we are going to do the same thing. I'll just copy this line. And here instead of S1, I'll make it S2. And I'll make this also as S2. So instead of plus 1, we are going to decrement the counter to minus 1. Okay. Now after doing that, it might also reach to a position uh, where it is already uh, zero and we don't want to decrement it further. Okay, so what we are going to do here is um, we are going to do a check over here. If map one dot get If this is greater than zero, okay. Or I can just do it like if first we have to go check if it is going to contain skill because, like we saw, there might be few characters which is not already contained. So we can just do a contains key check there if it contains that. So for the second string, we'll have another for loop where we're going to do character by character traversal. So s2 dot to char array. And in this, we are going to do a check that if the map contains that character already, okay, and uh, sorry, if it contains key, if it contains key, then we are also going to check if the value is greater than zero or not because if it is already zero then we don't want to decrement it further if it is greater than zero only then we have to decrement it further so if this condition is true then we have to do the same thing but in this case we are going to decrement the counter so we'll make it minus one and this will be our a and this will also be a so what we are doing in this check, we are going to first check if the key is being contained because not necessary that every character of S2 is going to be contained in map 1 already. If it is already contained, then we have to decrement the count. If it doesn't contain, like we said in case of G and K, it was not containing already. So we are ignoring it. If it is contained, like in case of O and R, so we have to decrement the count by, by 1. And we are decrementing only in case of, uh, only in case of frequency that is greater than 0. If it is already zero, we are not going to decrement. So this part is going to take care of um, uh, of uh, decreasing the counter of every character. So now that we have our map with all the updated values, so we just have to simply iterate through the values of the map. So I'll say map one dot values, and we are going to keep on adding those values. So I'll initialize one integer variable as total okay. 
So you just have to keep on adding to this variable for all the values that we have. Now, then at last we have to check if this total, whatever is contained, is it lesser than or equal to our k. If it is, then you have to return true. Else we have to return false. So that's it. We have to return boolean. So I think that's about it. I'll just check all the variables map one. S1 and S2. Yeah, let's try to run this. So looks like there's a this is Okay, so this is fine. Let's try to submit now. Yeah, all the test cases are passed. So that's about uh, this problem. Do let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or you want any, any suggestions you have. And do consider subscribing to my channel if you want to watch more such videos. And thank you so much for watching.